and they were like, yo, P. Diddy wasn't here watching your fight last night. God protects me. I'm so glad God protects me. This man was on the Joe Rogan's podcast and he talked about how God protected him from P. Diddy. So make sure to watch till the end because of a Bible verse that will tie all of this together. Let's get right into it. That's, to who? You have to have, you have to have done it to someone, but there's no effort at all to uncover that. Yeah, but it's, I'm saying now, this year, it's kind of crazy how she started off with, uh, what's his name, Cat Williams mm -hmm. on Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> he starts talking, spilling the tea, <laughs> sipping the cognac. Yeah. And then now this whole P. Diddy thing. Sometimes you have to tell Diddy no. Oh, man, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, man. Sean Diddy Combs' alleged list of accomplishes to be revealed soon. The names will shock you, attorney says. Whoa. I think he's going to sing, eh? I think, I think he has to sing or he bro, goes also, to jail I'll tell you for the rest of his life. God protects me. I'm so glad God protects me because, look, if I got invited to the white party, I'd have gone. Especially if you didn't know. Of course. No one knew. No one right. knew. If and you then don't you know, find you're just out. a celebrity and you know, oh, Jennifer Lopez is going to be there. Oh, Rick Ross is going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. And that would be a cool place. I want to meet those people. Facts. And yeah. I just want to be there having fun partying. But then they start to, apparently, they said they were using... I'm going to guess it's like ketamine because they said horse tranquilizer mm. and they're putting in people's drinks in the champagne and then getting them all loose. Yeah. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a secret. It's just us two, right? Yeah. After I knocked out Pereira in Miami, we went to Tootsie's the next night and they were like, yo, P. Diddy wasn't here watching your fight last night. I was like, wait, word? Crazy. Then I went and checked my DMs and I saw, oh, shit, he hit me up. And he was talking about two months later, I want to do an interview or whatever. And I said, here's my manager's number. Bop, cool. Nothing ever came off it, but again, that's why I say God be protecting right, me. Right, right, Because who knows? Right, right, like, you never right. know. Oh, yeah, we're having this party later on. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. And then they start to, like, you know, you find some chick, you pull on you, and then, boom. Oh, how was that 15-year-old? Wait, what? Dang. He said God protected him. Yeah, I mean, God's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts, says the Lord. The thing is, when we chase the things of this world, it's only going to lead us down the path of just destruction. And the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus comes to give life. He's not coming up with a bunch of rules to, to stop you from having fun, but they're to protect you. It's like a father and uh, parents who have rules for their children to not do certain things because they want them to be protected. When we just go out and do... and follow our fleshly carnal desires we're just gonna be left empty and in situations that we do not want to be in so let's continue to watch yeah. and you're filmed yeah i and heard then, about that yeah, yeah. he but had again. apparent allegedly cameras yeah, all, allegedly. all over the house and a hundred thousand <laughs> bottles of baby oil <laughs> yeah what nobody's that ashy bro <laughs> <laughs> a thousand but also by the way <laughs> Coconut oil is better, water-based lubricant, yeah. but baby oil is acidic as f Johnson & Johnson's. Like, that's demonic, bro. Like, why would you use baby oil? Even <laughs> if you're f***ing dudes. Nah! You probably started out with it. That's all the bottles. Nah, that's, I, that's AI. <laughs> that's that got to be AI. That's got to be AI. I don't know if it's AI. I for think you? that's real. I think it was it. lube and baby oil. I think you had a variety of different substances. Who counted that? Was Look at a that. A thousand. Look at that. One, two, three Bro, bottles of baby oil, four, five, six bottles. bottles of baby oil yeah, in the wall. Yeah, that's imagine crazy. How... All that stuff is so weird and wild. And when you keep on following your fleshly desires, that's what I'm talking about. You get down this path of just complete, utter destruction. Your heart is turned off to God, I would say. You like completely go down this path of like, yeah, when you're rich and famous for that long and you get to get everything that your desires crave, it's gonna bring you down more of a evil and disgusting path more and more because your brain always wants something greater, something that's gonna stimulate you more and more. The sinful things that you do at first are gonna satisfy you, but after a while, Sin doesn't satisfy you the way it used to. So you want more and more and more where you get down to this disgusting place where it's just gross and grotesque and completely against what God wants you to do. Let's continue to watch. 500 bottles and go, we need to go for a yeah. Target run. Nah, man. Oh, the fact that said it was, what do you call it, Costco, and Costco goes, nah, we don't sell that. What is this <laughs> defaced AR 15s? Interesting. What does that mean? Does that so mean they, they, scratch, they the, scratch the serial what numbers you call it off? off? Yeah. Whoa, that's a serious crime. Yeah. That's a serious crime. Uh, but again, see, uh, he's in cahoots with uh, Epstein. 
And then is he in cahoots with? Was he in cahoots with Epstein, yeah. or was it just a similar type of an operation? No, no, he, he, they were friends. Really? Yeah, because Epstein had a fucking no, uh, on Miami as well. That really private, rich uh, estate in Miami. So they were all in cahoots as well. But again, I think he's gonna sing. Isn't it crazy? Like that was always the conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat thing. Oh, there's a place where the elites go to. Underage kids, You're like what? What's his name? Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he Alex was right. Jones. He was right. He was about right about a lot of things. Almost everything. Yeah, most about <laughs> almost everything. Fucked up that one. Hey. But, <laughs> <laughs> but almost everything else, he was right. But you got to realize that that guy had been in uncovering real conspiracies that the media had not covered for oh, yeah. decades. And he was literally having like a psychotic break because of it, because he's just drinking all the time and dealing with the stress. How would you, even Kanye, imagine you trying to tell people something. Right. And then no one believes you and they call you crazy. I'd go crazy just trying to explain to people. Even, I can imagine the frustration, the frustration of trying to explain to right. someone and you're like, no, this is really happening. This, and they're like, yeah, that's how I feel about Jesus. <laughs> When we're telling people about Jesus and we want you to really know this can change your life. God can really work in your life and he really can save you and set you free from your addictions and bondages so you don't end up into a place, obviously, where no one's to that extreme to where Diddy is at, I don't think. Not I not no one, but like for the majority of people. But we all have our sins. We've all fallen short of God's glory. So that's crazy. And I went down the rabbit hole in 2020. I'll tell you, I, I did. I had to. And for me, it was just like I could see the fuckery. That's crazy. So now I have a Bible verse that will tie all of this together. In James chapter 1, verse 13 through 15 says, And remember when you are being tempted, do not say, God is tempting me. God is never tempting me to do wrong. And he never tempts anyone else. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. So run away from your temptations. Run away from your carnal desires, things that are not of God, and put them to death before it puts you to death. Guys, I encourage you to do that today. If you're sick of running and trying to do this on your own, go to Jesus Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again in three days so that you could be saved and make him your Lord and Savior over your life. In the description below, you can fill out if you want to decide to follow Jesus for the first time. I encourage you to do that today. It will help you to know exactly what to do. And guys, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, so I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Um, love and appreciate you guys from watching from day one. It means the world. And guys, you might like these videos here. Peace.